Hello, it's Dr. Triple Seven, and in today's video, I'll be showing you guys a iOS 7 skin pack for Windows 7. It's a pretty sweet skin pack. Uh, I'll be showing you guys my Windows 7 virtual machine, and that is why it's not genuine if you're wondering. And besides that, it's pretty straightforward to install. Looks pretty cool. I'll show you a picture right now. Um, here we go. So it's pretty cool. You get a dock, you get um, these little options here, multitasking completely different icons as you can tell right here so it's that whole new um, soft look to the new iOS and uh, yeah so anyway we'll get started so go ahead and download the correct one for your system below um, based on your architecture if you're not sure about that then just go to your store or right click on the computer and go to properties and next is system type, it will say 64-bit operating system or it will say 32-bit operating system. Whatever yours says, just go below and select the one that's, or click the download link next to yours. Just download that file. After you download the correct file, it be like this, just go ahead and open it up. If you get this, just click yes. And wait for it to unpack the data. So the nice thing about these skin packs, I've kind of really went towards them. I like them a lot because they're easy to uninstall. They give you, they're easy to install and uninstall. They give you icons. They give you the whole thing. So it's great because it's simple and you get a whole new look. And for people who aren't so um, techy and have a little scared of messing with system files, this does it for you and it undoes it for you. So click next. Accept the license agreement. What you want to do here is go custom installation and then uncheck the three of them. Um, if you do the full install, it's going to install this toolbar. They get money for having this there, so you just uninstall it, or sorry, unclick it, it won't install. Leave these all um, there. And the nice thing is too, if for some reason you mess up or the program mess up or who knows why, maybe the computer turns off in the middle of the installation. There's a restore point that it will create. So all you have to do is restore your system back to that point and nothing will happen to your system. Of course, later down the road, all you gotta do is uninstall. But if something was tragic was to happen and doesn't really work, all you gotta do is restore to that restore point. So click install. It will go ahead and create that restore point and then it will go ahead and patch the necessary system files even if you already have them patched it'll patch them again for you it's no problem there and then it's just going to go through and install the custom files that it needs wallpapers rocky dock um, anything it needs once it's done just click next and reboot the computer nice thing is because this is a virtual machine I can show you guys the whole boot process So there is no um, boot logo change. This skin pack actually just came out today. Um, so as you're watching this video today, today, so um, this new it's a bit not it doesn't have everything yet. Once it's updated, it will have more stuff. So we do have that custom um, Mac OS X kind of spinning there. Okay, my Windows is late activated. So let's exit of that. So I'm not sure if you guys can hear that or not, but that was some nice little sound effects there. Uh, one second, I'm going to change the wallpaper back to what it's supposed to be. Alright, because my my Windows is not activated, it blacks out your wallpaper, really annoying. Anyway, so I'm going to go through and show you guys some awesome things about this theme. Now one of my favorite things is you have the option to go to right click and go to personalize. And if you go to here, you have a couple different iOS variants. So you have iOS Dark, iOS Full Glass iOS um, Inspirect and iOS. Currently I have iOS just on. I'll show you I'll show you all four though. So iOS dark. Same thing but it has a dark taskbar and it's just dark. So we have a dark taskbar. It's just a darker version of the theme. We have the full glass, which I am a big fan of full glass as well. So this one makes everything basically uh, more see through I guess you'd say. 
So you can tell it's more of a glassy on the taskbar. This one's kind of a mix, it's kind of a bluish one as well. And then we had the one that I started off with, which is just plain old iOS. So like I said, they're all pretty cool. So you have a different um, options, you can choose one. So like I said though, we have custom sounds right off the bat. We have this nice Mac OS dock with our, nice, our icons. This is Rocket Dock, if you guys aren't sure with that. Um, if you, we also have things like Desktop Fast. I think I have to be running something for it to work. But, no, oh, oops, wrong button. We have X widget, so we can uh, slide the closed monitor, shut down all these options here. And we can right click them to close them. So you can choose these if you like them. I believe there's more. X Launchpad, which I actually did a program review of um, probably about a year ago when the product came out. It basically makes your computer have a iOS like um, app drawer. So when you open it up it kind of just goes over the whole screen and has your icons lined up. And you can like drag to the right with your mouse and left with the mouse. This will give you um, basically the same things a iPad experience or iPhone experience. So you have all this thing called iPhone LS, which I had no idea what that is. Oh, that's cool. So basically it locks your... Oh, that makes sense. LS. Um, basically it locks your screen, looks like. So you shut off. I can. I guess what that's going to do. Recycle in and then dock settings. So you can change these settings if you prefer. But they're pretty much set up to work the best. Um, I guess you could go quality and increase the quality of the thing. You can change the zoom. But the, like I said, though, they're pretty much um, nailed to be just like iOS. So we'll go through Finder here. Um, the Finder on here is a bit different. They make it a knockoff of the Finder on Mac OS X. So, like I said, it's pretty much a knockoff. Looks pretty much the same. Works the same. I don't have any documents on this computer because it's a virtual machine, obviously. But you know, that's how it works. So that's a separate program. Um, if you were to open up the regular Explorer. This is a regular explorer, so we have the custom icons, much more familiar look to people who use Windows. So we have our custom maximize, minimize, and close buttons, custom back and forward buttons, along with our um, bar here has been blurred to gray, so it kind of gives the look of it just not being there, which is kind of cool too. We have a custom start orb, we have a custom icon here. And that's about it. If you go to iOS Skin Pack and Start Menu here, you can see a full list of everything that's installed. Some stuff actually, some programs are just um, effects on the desktop. Some are. So I suggest going through them. You can play with them and see what they do. And besides that, guys, that's what it for this video. So the last thing I'm going to show you guys right now is how to uninstall this. So sometime in the near future, you're going to get bored of iOS, or you're going to hate Apple, or you just hate the look of it right away. And you just want to uninstall this. To uninstall, it's very simple. Just go to your start orb, go to control panel, go to uninstall a program, and find the iOS skin pack for Windows 7. Just double click on that, click yes. Check them all off, click uninstall, and then it will remove everything for you. And then click yes, click next, and then reboot now. Once the computer is done rebooting, you will be completely back to normal Windows 7 and or just back to normally what you were before you did this skin pack. Anyways guys, thanks for watching this video and thanks for the great feedback on my last video which is a Ubuntu video. Um, you guys really liked it so I will continue to make them in the near future. And besides that guys, thanks for the um, support. I'm now at 26,000 subscribers which is a great accomplishment for me. So thanks a lot. Leave a like below. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them below as well. And I'll see you guys in a couple days. This is Hacker Triple 7 and I'm signing off.